Okay, hello guys, uh, welcome to the channel back. Uh, if you are new to this channel, please consider uh, liking and subscribing to this channel. And also, uh, if you have any questions and comments, you can uh, write them down to me. Okay, thank you. Okay, today I'm gonna show you my another uh, Slayer Exciter, my first Slayer Exciter that I made for Alexei Chakurkov anti-gravity device. This was my second, this one used 2N3055N uh, MPN uh, transistor. Uh, and I, I made also my first Slayer Exciter that uses KT8.9B MPN transistor. And this is the transistor that, uh, that Alexei Chakurkov uh, writes or wrote on on his schematic on on his uh, YouTube channel where he explains his gray flyer. So I have also primary coil, secondary coil. I have here I have the transistor and how you connect it. So it's uh, KT 819B MPN transistor. It has three pins. Pin number one is from the right to the to the left, right is one, base collector emitter, emitter is negative, uh, base has 10 kilo ohm resistors, after that we have one terminal that goes to one side of primary coil, collector is another terminal, emitter is negative, and the primary coil, go, uh, the secondary coil goes between resistor and MPN transistor. Uh, and uh, uh, emitter is negative and we have capacitor from after resistor to the to the emitter uh, the value of uh, capacitor isn't important i use 2000 volts and 22 nanofarads okay this is the same transistor i mounted it on my computer cooling Okay, here we can see uh, where I place transistor on computer cooling. I have a cooling fan. I have a primary coil made of one, two, three, four, five turns of unisolated copper wire, which is uh, diameter nine and a half centimeters. And the secondary is uh, 30, 33 and a half centimeters. Uh, secondary is made of uh, 0 0.4 uh, 4.3 millimeter isolated copper wire uh, the orientation of the primary is clockwise and the orientation of uh, the secondary is secondary is also clockwise okay uh, the base uh, the base is uh, connected to the upper leg of the primary coil and uh, Collector, the collector is uh, to the lower, lower mounting point, and on the upper collect, uh, upper, upper part is a connection of positive terminal and negative terminal is on the negative side. Okay, up till now I have been trying with uh, 2N3055 MPN Slayer Exciter. But now I'm returning my experiments to KT819B MPN transistor. Uh, not because um, uh, the Alexa wrote uh, that transistor on the first schematic on YouTube, but I believe uh, you can't make Grayflyer work with any uh, MPN transistor. Or maybe this is uh, my better design. When I fire this MPN transistor, I get a very large uh, electric field or energy field around coil and also uh, I used connection between the coil and the uh, gray flyer not sure this should be connected or not but when this is connected uh, the, the entire my gray flyer is energized and this coil then draws from my power supply uh, almost 20 watts of power 
So I think that uh, the the connection is is important, even though uh, even though I have information from from YouTube that this shouldn't be connected. So okay, so this is connected to my gravifier. This is my version of my gravifier. Okay, just to show you. On the channel, but still didn't get it flying. And also, this is all my settings and instruments for powering my gravy flyer. As you can see, I have a lot of a lot of power supplies. A lot of equipment but the important important thing is uh, that Alexei Chakurko used on his uh, on his drawing uh, the KT819B MPN transistor he he didn't mention uh, the 2N3055 MPN transistor or Slayer uh, but I have I have used uh, his uh, drawings for power for powering of the high voltage power supply 2N3055 uh, MPN transistor and that, that that is what is powering my flyback transformer. This is also my high voltage capacitors. Uh, so for now I'm gonna try to make my experiments with uh, with KT819B MPN transistor and I'm going to try uh, try to make it work with direct connections to the gravity flyer because uh, it gives a lot of power to to my gravity flyer uh, so when I'm firing my KT819B MPN transistor Slayer exciter, I get from like this a very big energy field around my uh, gray fire. It's very big. So I think the correct way to do integrity is by using a KT819B Slayer exciter uh, for powering the uh, the integrity. Okay, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching and peace.